All right, Tubes. Today, we're working on the truck. We're gonna put this carpet in. Now that's all clean. I finally got some stuff for the interior of this truck. Um, I was gonna do the whole POR 15 nonsense like a lot of people have been like saying, telling me to do, but I'm gonna do something a little different. First of all, this seat, which matches the carpet, this, this is actually with that carpet originally. Um, this needs to come out. Um, I'll need to take my accessory stuff out of here. Um, I actually need to unhook the cables to that power inverter. I need to redo those cables anyways. Um, then the shifter needs to come out and I believe I have a new shifter boot that's, oh this one's not, this one's weird but I have a new shifter boot and we need to do something about the, screwing this down. It's kind of screwed down but there's, I use those plastic insert things and uh, having a bit of a hard time getting the screws out. <laughs> Might need to pull the CB out, actually. Yeah, might need to pull the CB out. Um, everything needs to come out. Um, I do have my subwoofers bolted to the back here, but um, I'm gonna leave that stuff there. I will be coating most of the floor here with some just truck bed coating. That's just what I'm gonna do. Some holes need to be filled up, so we're gonna use this. Uh, I got some bit more of this stuff. I think I have a can of it, but I bought another one anyways, just in case. And I bought some of these, these here and a little holder for that. We'll put in our little um, doomahickey and rip away. Um, so yeah, I've got a little bit of work to do. This carpet is one of those LMC truck carpets and it's kinda, kinda duh. So, um, just, I mean, it's okay. The new carpet, well, the new to me carpet. Oh, no, it's a factory carpet. It seems a lot thicker. It's got a little bit more, just a tad more pile to it. Um, but I like the insulation. I don't think this carpet that's in here has as much insulation, but anyway, I wanna get that carpet in there because this one here has got mold and stuff. Just like, this is, it's just bad. So we're gonna get all this out of here, throw it right in the trailer, and uh, you know things like these holes and stuff will be gone. We also have a little bit of work to do over here. We're gonna try and get that shifter thing in there all the way. Um, so that's something I wanna work on. So we're gonna be a little busy, but first we need to just get the seat out and stuff. So uh, we've been through that a few time or two. So I'll spare you the details. All right, tubes. Operation cab do over. Um, I need to finish getting the CB out of here. Got a little bit of work to do. I'm gonna trim around this 4x4 shifter area. Um, really, just, it's just supposed to be a big square there. Um, so, I'll end up dealing with that. This hasn't been, oh, this can't come down anyways. Okay, this thing here, this voltmeter doesn't really work very well anymore. It's kind of got some sketchy readings. So we'll need to ixnay that. Of course, it does not want to comply. stuff in behind the carpet. Okay, I want to get this 4x4 shifter out of here. 
let's see. That came out. Oh, that one came out. Oh. oh, I see what I did with the last one. I just yanked that thing out of there. Okay. Is that a 17? Oh, look at that. Now we need to slam that back into a gear because um, the truck's parking brake is off. I got a bunch of, bunch of insulation packed around this and it's actually dry. Someone said it would get moldy and um, I haven't necessarily seen moldiness yet. So the deal with this is, uh, now I can't show you, but when you get this nut on the back side here, Thread it on. And tighten it. Someone's gonna complain. I can't see what you're doing. I can't even see what I'm doing. And so it pulls the bolt through, breaks the tape, and that comes off. Voila! I believe the other shifter boot that I have has a brand spanking new one. Okay, it's quite possible we're gonna find some sketchy nonsense. So, brace yourselves. God, I wanna go to the liquor store and buy a thing of liquor. I want some bows. Wow, this carpet is dirty right now. that like that. Alright, let's uh let's see what do we got going on here. Oh boy. Oh there's moisture. I found an extension I've been looking for. Let's take this out so we don't ruin it. Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> Sorry, tubes. You're kind of in my way. Freaking holes drilled in my cab. Can you, can you believe I did that? We got even more rust here from the water.
good thing I have that trailer. I don't know why I put that garbage. Oh boy. I got some work to do. The rain was getting a little crazy with me here a few minutes ago, so I put my top up. I just got done layering this side. I've got a lot of nonsense going on over here. Made a little bit of a bigger hole there for the uh, four-wheel drive there. Um, that's kind of a... It's, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, got that side. I'm just doing... I'm not you know, I'm trying to make it look pretty. I'm just trying to at least seal it up so it'll last a little bit longer. Because uh, as you know, I, you know, eventually in a few years I'm gonna end up, you know, retiring this truck and getting a newer truck and doing stuff to it. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna let this thing cure up. Oh. Let me roll that window up. I got the back window open so it can vent. I'll leave these crack like that. Somebody's leaking oil. I don't know. Could be my truck. Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> it's gonna get all that wet. I've had this going. And it's been blowing hot air into the truck and it's been keeping the uh, bottom of the cab warm. And it's also been keeping me warm out here, believe it or not. And I'm about half a tank of diesel. Um, yeah. Anybody want to see uh, this thing in action? Check this out. It's going to be loud. It's like, oh, let's put that on, at least give us some more. Uh, yeah, we're half a tank of diesel. And I've been running this for the last two hours out here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fill my can up again and get her full of diesel. This carpet here is just about ready to go. I'm gonna, I gotta let the cab cure. I'm gonna be able to do that. Here's my other 4x4 shifter. This top is brand new. I'm gonna put this in. I gotta figure out how to get this up. I think it just slips off. Because it's just the shifter is factory, so I'm gonna work on doing that. Hey tubes, I got the carpet in here. This stuff is way thicker than the other carpet, and this carpet fits this tower that I have in here. The tower is actually from a, a either a brick nose or a narrow nose. And I got it. Oh yeah, it was for a brick nose, it was out of a 90. And I took this because I was doing the five-speed swap at the time and it worked out great because this fits perfectly it fits just like it should just like it did in the air nose truck that's how it fits in here over in the corner back here is a little different uh, I'll have to do something different with that but it's kind of goofy because I got the uh, floor light switch Alright, so that wasn't too bad. You know, the only problem I have with this is... <sighs> stripped out screws. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those thread cert tools. Um, where you, you know, drill this out and you put an insert in and then it whoosh, sucks that baby in. I'm thinking about doing that with this and then that way we can use, you know, regular screws and not sheet metal screws. So for now I can get like maybe probably three screws and at least something to attach it. So this is kind of a pain in the ass.
I've got a little plastic threaded insert or plastic insert down there. Hey. Oh hey. Well, that's the last time that's coming out. But yeah, I like this carpet. Fits perfect. It feels damp. Like, you know, I, I let it dry pretty good with the heat and stuff in the garage. And it's like, eh, it feels damp. So does the seat. Maybe it's just the air. This was in the back of the truck, but it wasn't closed. So, I don't know. Might leave, it'll leave the windows cracked open. It's like, you know, trying to get moisture out of this truck and here is tons of it. Also raining, so um, I'm gonna do the seat bolts in the back, and then I'm going to put my seat belts in, get those locked down. I put some Loctite on this shifter. Uh, this came off, um, but like I said, I don't like this one, and I'm gonna get a new uh, one from LMC Truck. Um, I don't. I know I have another one. I think I kept the shifter from the Explorer. I think I did, anyways. Can't remember. I can't get my other <laughs> shifter knob off because I used Loctite. I also heated it when I pressed it on. Um, so yeah, um, I'll have to get a new one. Um, but yeah, at least I have a new shift boot um, guy here. I'm real happy with that. Looks nice and clean. And then the four-wheel drive shifter, I clearanced around here so that this shifter wasn't interfering with the um, cab. I didn't trim it very well when I first did this. Um, now it's uh, cleared pretty good and I can get into low range without it having it hit the cab. That was another problem. But now I can actually mount this up against the cab, screw it down, and it'll have it look factory. And we got our insulation pieces in there so that should quiet things out a little bit. <laughs> And that torpedo heater has been working nicely, keeping me warm and keeping the underneath of the truck warm. It's actually been making the moisture heat up in the cab and it evaporates, it steams up the windows and stuff. I got my little hut set up here. She put some, you know, lights and stuff in here and crack open a beer or something. Which I don't drink beer anymore. Just hard booze or nothing at all. Or wine. Alright tubes, that's gonna be it for tonight. I think I might strap this thing to one of my mirrors. I got some trim pieces left to put in and some little things to deal with. Like my cup holder and whatnot. Um, should uh Put on night shot here. Someone's got the popcorn tires on. Now if you just buy the right the right tires, you wouldn't need popcorn tires, Jerry. And this thing, not only kept the underneath of the truck warm, like you know, the floor and stuff. But it also warmed up the engine. The engine was almost at 130 degrees. Um, so, yeah, if you touch the end right now, it's, it's like it was running for about a half hour. That's what it feels like. So that's pretty cool. So if I had no means of using a block heater, or if I happen to not need one, or not have one, you know, this would work. This probably would have worked for that IDI I once had. Well, this is a lot lighter. got uh, a little less than half a tank now. I've been using it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna anchor this to my truck. Nice having that top. One of the things I'd like to do is actually get that light bar working again. Um, and I was actually looking at a move bumper for this. 
Um, apparently they make them for the style truck as well. I guess there's some kind of a demand for it. I just don't know if I want to spend almost a thousand dollars on it when, you know, um, I foresee in probably the next five years or so, I'm probably going to get a new truck and I don't know, it's Eh, maybe we should just get it. If I get a bonus next year, we'll just order it. We'll just keep putting money into it and then uh, money as in, you know, upgrades and stuff. In fact, speaking of upgrade, just got something from China. No. Let's put you on the tripod and see what we got here. Over on the workbench here, what's going on? I do have something I might give away. Well, actually. Uh, you know, sell if anybody's in need of one of these. Anyways, I've got this uh, M5OD 5-speed uh, shifter with boot. I have I was trying to get this off, so it kind of messed this up. This thing is not coming off anytime soon. Um, it was a fresh knob that was um, not just pressed on, but I had put red Loctite on that, so don't think that's ever coming apart. Anyways. What do we got in here? I got something for the truck. It's for the bed of the truck. Because right now, well, you saw, there's no light. Can't see shit. So, what do we got here? Um, I got this from uh, Amazon. Yeah, I had uh, <clears throat> got a. Uh, Amazon gift card from work for a thing that we were doing. And uh, I bought this with it. So let's see, this has. I guess some stippers. I forgot what I was saying. Probably not important. So let's see, it's got an inline fuse. So we'll probably have to run these. Um, you know what, I actually have a power feed line coming from underneath the truck. I can prob I can loop this down the bed rail. You know, this can go to the body ground, but this guy here can run down to that power feed that I have down below. So that would actually make wiring things easy. Um, it's just a matter of mounting this stuff. Looks like this splits off. We have our light strips here. They also give you some mounting here, so we'll probably take advantage of that. Wanting to let these relax. Smell like China. Basically give you quite the reach on this. So you know this I want to be at the tailgate. And then let's see how much wire they give you. So we got one strand here. Quite a bit of a feed there. It's like someone who doesn't clip their nails. See, there's a double sided adhesive on here. So we can actually clean and sand down the area that we're going to mount this to. Um, and then stick that on there and then maybe at two major ends we can put these little uh, plastic things on. They give you one, two, three, four, so you probably put them on the end or something. So and they give you quite a bit of cabling here to work with. I'm just not entirely sure where I want to put this in my truck. Plug these guys in. Kind of chintzy connectors. We'll probably goop these up and <laughs> tape them up. So what we need is a battery. Get our old 
all no fuckies here. Oh. Holy crap. Those are bright. These are definitely going to get hidden up in the rails. Wow. Okay. I am now seeing spots. So they give us some specs here. Uh, 90, oh there's 90 LEDs per strip. That's 6000K pure white. Runs on 12 volt. Uh, you get two LED light strip with wire bundle, one on off switch. There's one extension wire to power source. Oh, that's this. That's cool. Um, we'll probably separate that red wire there, and then yeah, cool. So this will be coming up. I'm see if I get to it sometime this week, because uh, I'm gonna put up some truck videos before we get getting close to the end of the year, and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna wind down for a little bit. So, yeah. Anyways, tubers, that's going to be it for today. Catch you next time.